How's it going everyone? In this video I'll explain how I gained 1000 subscribers in less than 30 days as a small YouTuber. This channel is about learning from software tutorials, online tips, graphic design to general tech skills. So I thought it might be interesting to share what I learned from running this YouTube channel. I hit 1000 subscribers on May the 7th 2020. Then less than a month later I hit 2000 subscribers on June 6th 2020. That's the most subs I've ever received in a single month. Stay tuned to the end and I'll share some things I learned along the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this useful. So let's rewind. I started this channel in February 2019. So to reach my first 1000 subscribers, it took me one year and four months. But only four weeks after that, I hit 2000 subscribers. I knew the first 1000 would be the hardest and slowest, but I didn't expect 1000 within one month. I'll share some insights into why this happened shortly. Firstly, let's see how many subs I currently get daily in case you're interested. So if I look at these stats from TubeBuddy and I go to subscribers last 30 days, you can see that it jumps between 20 subscribers to 60 subscribers in a day. There was a four day period where I got 60 subscribers four days in a row. So that wasn't too bad, especially for a new YouTuber. All these numbers are from TubeBuddy and I rounded up to the nearest 10, which is why they are all even numbers. When I first started YouTube, I would get one sub a week, then one sub every few days. So now when I look at it and I see I get 20 subs a day, sometimes 40 or 60, that still amazes me. I mean, if I look at my views, my views hover around 2,000 a day, sometimes 1.5 thousand views, 2.6 thousand views, 2,000. I get around 60,000 views a month, which is okay, I guess, and it's not as good as other YouTubers. So how did this happen? Firstly, there is no secret formula. It comes down to giving people what they want on a consistent basis. Consistency is the key. I've posted 67 videos in the last year and a half since I started and got over 300,000 views across all my videos. My aim is to try and do one video a week. Slowly but surely is the game. I'm still doing it for fun at the moment. Other YouTubers will tell you to post more often and that's perfectly valid advice. I'll tell you to do the same and I'll show you why that works in a minute. My numbers are nothing compared to some of the other YouTubers out there, but if you're just starting out and your goal is to reach 1000 subscribers, let me tell you, you can do it. I'm just an average person who posts videos in my spare time. So if I can reach 1000 subs, you can do it as well. It's just a matter of consistency. Now, if I look at my channel analytics, there are a few gaps but within a one month period, I would always post at least four videos. This chart is the impressions, but it visually reflects the growth of this channel. As you can see in the first six months, it's basically flat. This is where you have to dig deep and keep posting, even though your views and subs are very low. I had a little spike here, but in November, I managed to post eight videos within an eight day period. And you can see the bump up it had, as a couple of those videos started to gain traction. Then I had another long period of slow growth for about four or five months before I started ramping up my content again. You can see I posted four, five, then three videos a week. And as you can see, the impressions really started to ramp up and my views off of those impressions also started to increase. It was around here on May the 7th that I hit my first 1000 subscribers. I also hit my 4,000 watch hours so I was able to monetize the channel. It's just a matter of starting and posting and staying consistent. There are a few things I learned along the way that you can do to optimize the process. Tip number one, plan your content. You need to research and plan your posts. I post content that helps people with specific issues and I try to post content that has a mass appeal. You need to figure out what would appeal to people in your niche and make videos around that. Once I have ideas, I use a free note-taking app called Notion. 
Here I store my YouTube post ideas. I have a content calendar set up. You can find it in templates under marketing, then select content calendar. The first column is ideas. The middle column are posts that I'm currently researching and writing scripts for. The third column is completed posts. I also have a fourth column where I A-B test the thumbnails and titles if the video doesn't perform as I expected. I just record the click through rates, then I change the thumbnail or title and then come back a few weeks later and see if that had any effect. But I only do that for posts that I spend a lot of time on or ones that I think I could do better. That's quite a time consuming process but it will be worth it if you have one of your videos spike up. Each one of these boxes is a page or a post idea. So if I click on Camtasia Tutorial 2020, you can see that I would start writing my script here. So far, this is an idea for a video that I'm working on. You can also add a deadline here if you wanted to. Um, you can add a publication date and you can set the priority. Normally, I just use it for scripts and links and resources um, and other things that I can use to reference. The good thing about Notion is that it is all online, so I have it on my phone and laptop and it syncs it automatically. You can then click and drag the post from idea to in progress as you move towards completion. This template is similar to Trello if you use that. I won't go into too much detail into Notion because I'll make a separate more detailed video on that. Once I have the post ideas, then I need to research them. That's where TubeBuddy comes in handy. Tip two is keyword research using TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a free browser extension for YouTubers. However, it does have paid versions, which unlocks more features. I currently have the TubeBuddy Pro license, which gives me unlimited access to the Keyword Explorer. The Keyword Explorer allows you to find phrases and tags people are searching for on YouTube. You can then use these in your titles, descriptions and tags to get more impressions. I'll show you how I use it now. Click on Keyword Explorer under Tools. Then search for keywords related to the video you are making. If I search for Canva Tutorial, it will give me a score for this keyword based on search volume, competition and other metrics. This score is quite low. On the right, it will give you related keywords that you can investigate. Canva tutorial is way too generic. That's why it's poor. However, if I expand it and write Canva tutorial, how to make a logo, this comes up as excellent. If we click on unweighted, we can see this keyword isn't too competitive and has enough search volume to make it worth targeting. Click on the weighted tab above to see how your specific channel will likely perform for this keyword. So for my channel specifically, this gets 86 out of 100 compared to 75. So for this one, this is a video idea that I can work on. So what I'll do now is add this key phrase to my list of video ideas in Notion. TubeBuddy is free, but paid versions unlock more features. I have the paid version. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to sign up. I've just been accepted as a TubeBuddy affiliate. So if you sign up using my link, I will get a cut of the sale at no extra cost to you. Feel free to support this channel if you wish. I only recommend software that I use myself. Tip three, make compelling thumbnails. Thumbnails are important because you want to get as many clicks as possible. YouTube uses the click through rate as a ranking factor. So if your video is clicked on more often compared to other videos, YouTube will suggest it to more people and put it higher in the rankings for the relevant keywords. I use Canva for this because it's quick and easy and they have free stock photos built in. There is plenty of advice on YouTube about how to make good thumbnails. Check them out or check out my video on how to make thumbnails using Canva. If you have Photoshop, you could easily use that or you could use Photopea, which is a free Photoshop clone. Tip four, share your videos on social platforms. The work shouldn't stop once you've posted the video. You need to give it a little push to get initial traction and hopefully the YouTube algorithm will take it from there. Facebook groups and Reddit are two great ones. I'm a fan of using Reddit. There are loads of subreddits related to YouTube where you can post your videos. 
make sure you follow the subreddit rules. Some subreddits won't allow you to post until you have a certain amount of karma. Karma is basically the sum of all your likes and dislikes on everything you post. So you get one karma for each like and minus one karma for each dislike on a post. Different subreddits have different rules on posting. So if you make a post and it's not approved, don't worry. Just forget about it and try another subreddit. Make sure it's related to the video you're posting. Also, a lot of subreddits only allow you to post once a week. So make sure you don't spam. If you don't have a Reddit account already, sign up and start building up Karma because some subreddits won't let you post if your account is less than 30 days old or if you have less than 50 Karma. So it's important to start building up your Karma now by posting comments on other people's posts giving feedback. Don't just go in straight away and start posting your YouTube videos everywhere. You have to start engaging with the community first. Plus, if you did that, your posts probably won't make it through the automatic filters. Luckily, I'm a Reddit veteran with an 11 year old account and over 3000 karma. So when I post a YouTube link, it normally gets accepted straight away. As you can see from my traffic sources, 52% of my lifetime views are from external sources. So it definitely works to get views. To summarize, one, plan your content, make mass appeal content. Two, optimize your videos, titles, descriptions, and tags using TubeBuddy to get more views. 3. Make good thumbnails to increase click-through rate. 4. Promote your videos on social media. Reddit and Facebook groups are my two weapons of choice. There you go. Hope you found this video useful. Feel free to like and subscribe if you got some insights from this video and stay tuned for my next one. Let me know if you have any questions about Notion, TubeBuddy, Canva or Reddit in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Without your help, I wouldn't have got to this many subscribers. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.